Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Today I want to do a quick video and tell you about a cool custom guitar with a special feature that we're doing for our friend Vince Buckles in Nogales, Louisiana. And uh, I'll just show you what it is. Um, now if you've been following me on Facebook or Instagram, you might have already seen some of this stuff. Um, Vince wanted a 58 uh, Flying V and he wanted it out of uh, White Limba, of course, because that's what they came in. Uh, the neck joint, the neck pocket on the 58 style V's is considerably bigger than the regular V's because of this tongue here. Um, so here is the neck for said instrument and as you can see it will go together just like that and everything will be wonderful. So Vince wanted to have a, a pretty straight up um, regular 58 style flying V but he wanted some extra cool features. And one of the things that he wanted was custom inlay. Now in 1958, the Flying V's just had dots and that's a no-brainer because it's just a drill bit and a drill press and some dots. But what he wanted were Maltese crosses. Oh, fuck. Anyone who knows me knows how much I hate inlay and particularly an inlay pattern that has a bunch of straight lines and a bunch of corners and, and you know, isn't just a square or a dot. So uh, Maltese crosses, we knew were going to be uh, a challenge for us and we knew we wanted to do it right because Vince is a demanding guy and um, he makes AK rifles so we didn't want to screw it up. But uh, it was right around that time when I remembered that my buddy Dan over at Guitarwood Experts had someone who was doing laser cut inlay and laser cut fretboards for said inlay, basically custom stuff. And uh, so I called him up and uh, I want to show you um, what we got from Russ over at Music Engineering Services. So this is the fretboard that we got after a quick conversation with Russ. And uh, as you can see here, this was done with a freaking laser beam. So he cut out the inlays with a laser and made the, uh, the fretboard with a laser and uh, dig the inlays. There is no way I could have done these any better than this. As a matter of fact, it would have been way worse if I did these. So let's talk a little bit about what, uh, what Russ can do because I think that you guys might wanna give him a call and you know, see if he can help you with a custom project for you or if you wanna have us go through Russ and you know, have your name or something on here, he can do that as well. So as I said, Russ uses a freaking laser beam to, uh, to cut the inlays and to uh, cut the actual fretboards too. And he can pretty much do anything you want. Here's a couple of pictures of um, some of his, his handiwork. And as you can see, there's really, I'm not, I don't wanna say uh, that there's no limit to what can be done, but it sure seems like that to me. Um, inlay is one of those deals where you either really love doing it or you really hate doing it. I fall into the really hate doing it category. Uh, my brain isn't wired to do inlay like that. Um, but uh, fortunately, we now know uh, Russ, and um, so we can absolutely help you out with, uh, with going, working through him if you want, or uh, you know, getting your own super custom, uh, super custom fretboard. By the way, he ships everything. This one was back. Look, the, uh, he even laser etched the plywood that um, was was part of the shipping container, so my fretboard didn't get all damaged. So it's very, very cool to have uh, a new resource in the inlay department. So now, sky's the limit if you want cuckoo inlay or if you just want something subtle or anything in between. So I think that Russ can go from mild to wild like that. So guys, I realize this is a video about me not doing something and it's a video about a new industry partner, but I feel cool about doing that because I, uh, I'm a customer too and I absolutely dig everything that Russ did for us and uh, I'm totally digging these, uh, these inlays here because I'm a big fan of Jesse James too, so I think they're badass. Um, if you guys have any questions about uh, having a custom uh, fretboard made uh, with custom inlay or uh, the link by the way to uh, Russ's website is in the description below. Uh, go check him out and uh, tell him the guys over at Texas Toast sent you. If you like this video give us the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you appreciate content like this you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member and we've gotten a lot of new members and even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool stuff like this. I know we didn't really do anything but this is good information. 
Um, especially if you don't like doing inlay, even half as much as I don't like doing inlay. Uh, if you can't do Patreon though, we totally understand. Uh, what you could do to help us grow the channel is share this video every single possible place that you can. So until next time, uh, this is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars. And if you're so smart, I guess build it yourself. And if you're smart enough to know that you don't want to do it, you can uh, give Russ over at Music Engineering Systems and uh, he will get you fixed up. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. I